guess what? Do you have to take <coughs> antibiotics to take antibiotics? No, they're in the food supply. And then what, what makes what makes candida really grow? EMS. That's your homework. Read up on that. So candida. So candida can there's a great there's a TV show completely dedicated to candida called Know the Cost from a, a, a very good friend of mine. And uh, he has a show uh, just on candida, okay? So, and he has every study uh, that known to mankind about candida. So, it's real. Uh, other doctors do not believe in it. You can actually do serum blood tests on candida, which comes out positive a lot of the time. But that's blood. So, if it's in the blood, it's really a problem, right? Just to order a candida panel. Now, but there's tissue. There's other areas to have candida. You can have a vaginal yeast infection or a mouth infection or a skin infection without having, and now there's so much on yeast. So it's a very, very, very powerful force. So you've got to understand this. So that means you have to become an endocrinologist, a gastroenterologist, a infectious disease specialist. When you are a doctor, you have to know everything. You're the quarterback for all of these conditions. Acidity. What is one of the biggest causes of acidity today? Meprosol. Yeah, right. You mentioned that meprosol. Stress. 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 <coughs> and like the lady was saying, stress is huge today. Because why is it so? It's not just individual stress. We are living under worldly stress, okay? Remember that we're all inextricably connected. So acidity is huge, and just assume that every cancer patient is mildly or extremely acidic. And so when you have acidity, it destroys every single function of the body, every single function. There isn't anything. So you have to get the body alkaline, and uh, it, it is just the way it is. So biological factors, we talked about eating and nutrition. I'm not going to get into that. That's just the obvious. Chronic stress, thyroid, thyroid's huge. Uh, you have to do the proper thyroid testing, thyroid panel with 3T3, 3T4 antibodies, iodine content, and uh, and, and if someone has a thyroid nodule, suspect cancer. Uh, intestinal toxicity, everybody has intestinal toxicity. Hormone therapy, scar therapy, everybody know about scars, so all scars cause a blocked in the energy pathway, so you need to learn neurotherapy, N-E-U-R-A-L therapy, very easy, very easy to learn, very, very quick. And uh, oxygen deficiency, and because nobody moves today. So we have that. And then the terrain, the terrain is the beautiful fluid that the cells bathe in, and then free radicals and vaccines. Emotional triggers, I'm not gonna go into this because Dr. Jimenez, hopefully if he makes it today, he's playing with a storm and he missed his connection. But anyway, hopefully he'll be coming. So this is one area that you want to master, not, not you personally, because you will not have time. If you're a medical doctor or NP or PA, or, you're not going to have time. So you want to have someone who just does this, okay? And I will tell you the fast track what I have learned over the years. And because you want to get the patient well really fast. So if you sit with a psychologist, it's going to take them forever. So you don't want to do that. So, so, but... The work of Hammer, um, everybody know Dr. Hammer. If you don't know him, you should know him. He is a German, he was a German oncologist who ran a German oncology clinic at 50 years of age. He was diagnosed with testicular cancer, which is very unusual. So then he started examining, asking all of his cancer patients why they thought they had cancer. That's how I got the idea. And I learned about this from when I was in Colorado 
years ago, probably 15 years ago, two doctors were talking, medical, American medical doctors were talking about this, and I went, ooh, this is amazing. So then I studied it and then so forth. But anyway, so he started asking all his patients. So they all could say that they had an emotional conflict trauma. So then he started doing CT scans on the patients and found that in the, in the homunculus, somewhere in the homunculus of the brain where that, the, your homunculus, remember, every part relates to a part of the body, do you remember that? So if you go back and study that, you'll get it fast. But anyway, it's very, it's just absolutely fascinating. But anyway, he could prove, and anyway, he went to jail, and anyway, it's a long story, it's a fascinating story. So he wrote the five biological laws of medicine, it's German New Medicine Docs, he had, it was absolutely fascinating, he should have gotten a Nobel Prize, he died just, I think this year, yeah, this year. But anyway, he was at 80.